So I wanted to, um, Beatrice, I want to review what we worked on last time. Um, do the inverse trig functions again? How do you feel about those? Mm, yeah. You feel yeah? Uh, yeah. Do, do you want to review them again? Sure. So what about them don't you understand? I don't know. I just, it's just dumb. I, I don't get it. So the first number is the minimum value that the function can have, and the second one is the maximum. Anything else won't, and it's, it won't work. You with me? What's this? Oh, it's just some writing. You wouldn't like it. Try me. Can I see? Okay. This is good. I like it. I mean, I, I guess it's... I mean, math might not come naturally to you, but this is still really good. Thanks. So, do you want to look at these some more... Um, we have the homework. Yeah, let's look at the homework. Alright, so this is my copy, so everything I did is written out here. So, which one do you want to look at? Mm, three. Okay, so how do you usually approach it? Well, I usually start with x over y, and then you plug in the c mm -mm. over here. No, you're supposed to do x plus y, and then have it over top of whatever number you get from the top that they give you in the problem. Here, take out your calculator. It might be easier. Do you have one? Yeah, but I don't know if it works. I'm just really... Oh, it, it turns on, so that's a good sign. So here, why don't you try plugging this in? <sighs> this is stupid. I'm done with math. Wait, you... Oh, never mind. Hey, Beatrice. Do you want to go out with me sometime? I heard popular girls like you like to hang out with guys like me. Um, sure. Where do you want to go out? <laughs> it's up to you, girl. I'll text you. <laughs> All right. Hey! Hey, kid! What? What do you think you're doing with Beatrice? Just a math tutor. Just a math tutor? No, you're not! I know you want more. I see the way you talk to her, acting like you love her poems, though. Even though they're stupid. I'm not stupid. <sighs> Whatever, bro. She's mine, so just back off! Just because she's popular doesn't mean she'd stoop to your level. At least I'm a decent person. What?! I said at least I'm a decent person. You wanna say that again? Huh? Look! They don't care about a decent person. They won't care about a tough guy that can protect them from creeps like you. So how about you stay on your lane, do some more tutoring, and go to your next student. Hey, I've been meaning to ask you about something that happened at tutoring yesterday with Brian. Um, he went out of the library to make some photocopies of the work we were doing, and, um, I think he got in an argument with Brandon. I think it was about you. Are you and Brandon okay? I don't think I want to go out with him anymore. Why not? I like Brian. Really? He's super smart. I know he won't like me. I'm... He probably thinks I'm dumb. Why do you think he thinks you're dumb? You know those poems I was writing? Yeah. He said they were great. And? But then he said math wasn't my strong suit and that it didn't come naturally to me. So he definitely thinks I'm dumb. So what if he thinks you're dumb? Stop listening to society. What makes you think that a popular girl like you can't go out with a nerd? I don't know. Like you said, the stereotypes. But what about Brandon? He needs to learn that he's not going to get every popular girl he asks out. I should tell Brian how I feel. Yeah, you should. At tutoring, right? Hmm? Okay, well, I'll see you. Oh, tell me how the test is. And text me what to study. All right. I'll see ya. Good luck. Oh, yeah, uh, you forgot this yesterday. I held on to it for you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Ugh, I'm gonna fail this test tomorrow. I'm not. I believe in you. You wanna look over everything one more time before it, like, refresh your mind and stuff? 
Yeah, but before we do, I need to say something. Yeah, sure, what's up? Well, I know you're really smart, and I'm not good at math at all. It's a lie. You're gonna do right tomorrow. I know. <laughs> but it's not about that. I really like you. But what about Brandon? <sighs> he's not my type. But he's, he's athletic, and he's strong, and like, he plays sports, and he, yeah, he can protect you and everything. But I don't want to be with him. I want to be with you. You're smart, dorky nice. And your smile, when you laugh, and you're kind to me. More than any other guy has ever been with me before. I don't care about the stereotypes society has placed on us. We're all different, and your strength is math, and mine is obviously not math, but I just want to be with you. So, um, if you're not busy, you want to go out sometime? Aren't I supposed to ask that? What did I say about stereotypes? Of course. I'd love to. You want to finish studying for the test now? Okay.